Fortnite have removed many things over the years, but these 15 things have been banned and will never return, including emotes and skins, just like the little red set. Having not appeared in the item shop for over 900 days, this skin has apparently been blacklisted. When this skin released, I didn't pick it up, and it will sit forever as a hole within my locker because of this reason. Within the set contains the Rue skin. When this skin released back in 2020, some people online made comparisons between the look of this skin and Nazis. Although a lot of people didn't make that connection, the issue was elevated within Epic Games, and as a result, they made the decision that this skin would never return. We know that Fortnite is played by people all over the world, but Fortnite China had its own specific version. I managed to download and get access to Fortnite China and have posted a few videos here on my channel, and the game was specifically built to fit Chinese laws. You could only play the game for a certain amount of hours, and you couldn't even buy V-Bucks. V-Bucks were actually earned through doing challenges in game. If a match length lasted over 20 minutes, everyone would get a victory royale, and a ton of the cosmetics in games have to be altered because you can't show skulls in China. But in November 2021, an additional regulation came in by Chinese law, stating that anyone under the age of 18 were banned from playing video games between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m., and it saw Fortnite China's player count plummet. As a result, Fortnite decided to stop Fortnite China, take it down, and the game does not exist anymore. Now, one of the luckiest things that could ever happen to you in Fortnite is a collection of the mythic goldfish. When it was first put in the game, it was not found for weeks. That's how rare it was. With a one in a million chance of being caught, this thing would one hit KO people dealing 200 damage. And despite playing a ton of Fortnite, I never managed to find it. However, you may notice that no one's found a mythic goldfish in a very long time. And despite how cool and rare this item was, Fortnite decided it was too powerful and have removed it from the game without telling anyone. But I would love to see this return to the game. Hit the thumbs up button on this video if you'd love the mythic goldfish to come back and be available once again. Another thing that I'm sure you guys want to return is the Travis Scott skin. After getting his own in-game concert and multiple skin styles, everyone absolutely loved this outfit. Released alongside his concert back in April 2020, this skin was actually meant to return to the item shop in January 2021. All the files and in-game assets were ready to put him back in the shop, but following the tragic events that happened at the Astro World Festival last year, the skin is currently set to never return. In fact, you can even email Epic Games asking them to remove it from your account and they will remove it from your locker. Now, if you were lucky enough to find a super rare item on the map, one of the first thoughts that you'd have in Chapter 3 is to store it in a tent. Tents allowed you to take multiple mythic weapons from multiple games and pull them all out at once and for the very first time allowed you to get that great loot and bring it into a different game. But the tents ended up bringing a lot of issues to the game. Some glitchers managed to find a tent glitch where they could enter into different unreleased LTMs and take weapons to store into their tent to take back into the main Fortnite island. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these, including the OG pump shotgun. And these tents even started to bug out and appear on the spawn island, causing complete havoc. With the crazy things that you could pull off with the tent, Fortnite decided to silently take them out of the game. And you'll notice that they no longer sit on the Fortnite island and will probably never return for the rest of chapter three. Now we've all heard of pay to win skins, but some of the most pay to win skins completely camouflaged you into the map and had to be changed. When the Boundless set was first released back in chapter two, season four, pro players quickly realized that they could select the exact same color for the entire outfit and blend into the island. The all black boundless outfit blended you into the shadows and you could sit inside a car and no one would be able to see you. And if you played Fortnite on console, you couldn't turn shadows off, meaning that these players were literally invisible. Epic were forced to disable this skin and alter it so you couldn't pick colors that were identical to each other and even offered players refunds. But even before then, the toy soldier outfit it was completely removed from Fortnite back in 2019. The green version of a toy soldier outfit completely blended in with trees, grass, and several areas around the island, and the skin was literally bought like this. As a result, they went ahead and redesigned the skin, adding a few more patterns to it and adding in a red option as well, and again, offering players refunds if they weren't happy. Now, if there's anything you can guarantee in a video game, it's that people will try to cheat. And with some USB devices just like this one, you can plug it in into your console or PC and install mods and scripts that allow you to aim better, build better, and do things that wouldn't be possible with your hands normally. But now, if Fortnite detects any of these devices plugged into 
your gaming console or PC, you will instantly get kicked from the battle bus. And if you manage to get around these restrictions, you can be permanently banned. So do not cheat, people. It's not worth it. Now, over the years, we've had hundreds of weapons and items vaulted and unvaulted in Fortnite. But the very first thing to ever get vaulted was the original SMG. Back in February 2018, Epic Games announced that they were vaulting the very first weapon. I quickly jumped on and got a gameplay with this to bid it farewell, assuming it would be coming back in the future. But over four years later, it has never come back to the game and stands as the longest vaulted weapon ever in the history of Fortnite. Since then, we've had tons of additional SMGs that have acted very similar, and I genuinely don't think we'll ever see this gun return. It wasn't even that good, and most people don't even remember it. Something else you may not remember on the Fortnite island were police cars. Alongside all the designs you could get, you could also get police cars spawning on the map. Of course, back then you couldn't actually drive these, but Fortnite quietly removed these in May 2020 with a lot of the ongoings around the world in real life. Police cars were not only disabled, but completely removed from the in-game files, which meant they were no longer on the island, no longer in creative, and no longer coming out of junk rifts. But the weird thing is, in the most recent update, Fortnite have added a tutorial mode, and in the tutorial mode, a police car can be spotted. Maybe this is the start of them reintroducing them back into the game, and driving around in a police car in Fortnite would be amazing. But something that's not amazing is being shot by your teammates. Yes, not many players remember that back in the day, team killing was a thing in Fortnite. If you were playing duos or squads, you could turn around and literally shoot your teammate. Back in the day, streamers used used to do this to get weapons off their teammates or simply annoy other people and it even resulted in some players getting banned. Epic decided that it was too hard to regulate and just completely removed team killing from the game and ever since then you can never damage your own team and this will never return to the game. Now the Rue skin isn't the only skin to be blacklisted from the game. We'll be covering emotes in the second but another skin that's been blacklisted is the Grim Medicine set. The set contains the Scourge and Plague outfits and if now not been seen in the item shop for over a thousand days. Although there's no official word on why these haven't returned, it's believed that because of the outbreak of the pandemic around the world over the last few years, and with the connection visually to viruses and potions, the tie is just too close to have them as a skin back in the game. Now, if you ever took Fortnite seriously and played on PC, you may have tested out stretch resolution. This gave Fortnite players an advantage as they stretched their screen to be ultra wide, giving players a slight advantage of what they could see while they were in game. I can't lie, I think it looked really ugly and Epic Games agreed and decided they didn't want pro players to be representing their game looking so stretched and weird and as a result banned the ability to stretch your screen and play in stretch resolution in Fortnite. A lot of pro players were upset but this will definitely not be allowed in tournaments ever again. And neither will swinging your pickaxe, I'm not joking. A strat within pro tournaments that became popular in chapter 2, pro players at the beginning of a game will have avoid gunfights as much as possible. They'll loot up, they'll get loads of materials, and as they're rotating into the next storm circle, if they ever saw anyone, they'd go ahead and jump and swing their pickaxe to act as a sign of being friendly. They did not want to engage and lose all of their materials and potentially be taken out so early on in the tournament, so they'd use this almost as a way of teaming to stay alive longer in the game. But Epic saw this and were not happy and removed players from teaming in pro tournaments as they should, but even implemented it into standard battle royale. That's right, if you go around in solos too close to another player and do not engage in each other, you can both be banned on the spot. Now, if there's one thing that's been removed from the game in all the years of Fortnite that people would love to return, we've heard it a million times, it's Double Pump. A feature available back in Chapter 1 that allows you to swap between shotguns and fire them faster than you were meant to, but definitely required a bit of skill. Epic Games tried to nerf Double Pump several times, but ultimately had to put a shotgun delay in when switching between two shotguns that meant that you could not fire them faster than the standard shotgun rate. Since then, we've had some super powerful SMGs and some really strong shotguns. And honestly, if Double Pump even did come back to the game, it will never be as powerful or as useful as it was back in the day. So it will now just remain in our memories as this overpowered strategy that will never return. But what about emotes blacklisted and caught up in a legal lawsuit that Epic Games can never release again? The fresh, tidy, rambunctious, and it's complicated emotes are all blacklisted from returning to the shop. And that's because Epic Games was sued for these four dances being emotes in Fortnite. Funny enough, all of these cases were dropped in court as they decided that you can't copyright a series of poses and own 
them yourself, meaning technically Fortnite are allowed to put this in their game. But despite that, the fresh, tidy, and rambunctious emotes have not been in the shop for over 1,400 days. It is likely that if you have these in your locker, you own some of the rarest items that will ever be in Fortnite. If you want to see some of these banned skins and double pumping in Fortnite, click on screen here to see me winning in every Fortnite season ever with so much OG Fortnite nostalgia. Quickly click it before I disappear. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you over there.